Hello everyone, this is Accounting Nightmare. Well, it happened. Uh, Gamescom is on at the moment, and we've got our second big info drop for Devil May Cry 5. So some people asked for my impressions, so I decided to do another trailer analysis video. And we're going to look at a bunch of footage, there's a ton of stuff out there now for it. So first of all, there's the new trailer. Uh, th this is the second trailer for the game. If you haven't seen this yourself, I recommend you go watch it yourself first. I'm going to put a link in the video description because we're going to be pausing it and just commenting on things as I see them. So we'll start off with the trailer. This, I wonder how long this video is going to be because there's a lot to talk about. So the second trailer, it's still Nero focused, which I'm surprised by, but I, I shouldn't be because uh, the gameplay footage that, that they're showing, oh, it's a playable demo at Gamescom right now and it's, oh, it's a Nero playable demo. So they're still focusing mostly on Nero at the point at this point in time, but they've, well, well, we'll get to that later. Okay, we'll get to that. <laughs> You're up, Nico. You know I got you covered, asshole. <laughs> this is what they were talking about at some point earlier that uh, Nero is going to call up Nico uh, during missions so that she shows up in the Devil May Cry van, and then that's when you buy new stuff from her. She's the shop for Nero. Try not to get us killed on the way there. So you can you can rev uh, Red Queen while you're running. That's that's a small thing, but man, do I love that thing! <laughs> that's great. Instead of like just walking slowly like in four, you can actually run while revving. Nice big exceeded combo there that we can see. Also, there's crew cut in the background. The, the, the fan base is. He's taken on a whole personality in the fan base. Everyone's calling him crew cut. And. Oh! He's hanging around in the background. Actually, what did Nero say there? I think it was sorry, Nico. And there goes crew cut. He's fine. Crew cut lives. Also, this area looks just like the Elders reset from Monster Hunter World, which I found kind of funny. <laughs> Is that uh, that slow motion, the uh, the time breaker again? We'll, we'll get the actual name for that thing, but uh, seeing that ability again. This looks like a this looks like a sin scissor. Very, uh, very good DMC one callback here because it looks like it actually comes comes out of a painting like in DMC one. Yeah, it looks like it came out of that painting in the background there. Yeah, it's got a different look now, but it still looks a lot like a sin scissor from one. And you even fight it in a library, which is that's the first place you fight Sin Scissor in DMC1, so that's that's very cool. Yeah, so bring back Sin Scissor. There's, there's a lot they can do to make it kind of more of an engaging enemy, because DMC1's uh, enemies... Well, Sin, Sin Scissor was kind of simple, you know, you shot at the shotgun until it died. But they can... it looked like they made it much more of a dynamic fight, which is very cool. I'm not sure what that move is. I, th I think that's the new air dash. Actually, I'm not sure what that move is actually, because it's like a golden arm. Hmm. Golden arm. I'll make a note of that because we're going to look at this website in a second. Well, not a second. A while. <laughs> we will look at the website though, which they have the names of some of his devil breakers. Hey, do you do parties? Pretty cool. The boss fights. Sometimes you change arenas. Very nice. Okay. Yeah, these are some real buster moves. Which 
there's some more details on that we'll get into once we get into some of the uh, the developer interviews. Not sure what this is. It looks like a machine or something. Demonic machine. It's like it's got wires going everywhere and cables. It looks like it's in some kind of industrial district or some docks or something. This area looks very industrial. And there he did a block. I think I know what that move is. Uh, it's yeah, we'll, we'll get to that too. Let me look at his move set a bit more. I'll do power bomb move. Oh, it's so good. Now this, we're seeing this boss again. We, we got caught a glimpse of it in the first trailer, but we get a lot more of a look of it here. Nero is riding the rocket arm, and I think this is gameplay. I think because when he jumps on the arm, it looks a lot like gameplay. Yeah, that it's tough to tell though if this is an interactive sequence or if this is just a cool cutscene thing. No idea what's happening there, but it was fantastic. So this kind of looks like a bullet hell signal. It looks like a sort of platinum bullet hell thing. So are they do are they doing a platinum? They're gonna have like these weird little kind of mini game sections. I'm not sure. Timing. Yeah, so there's kind of a lot that happened there, but uh, uh, this part where he was stumbling, well, look, he was having trouble fighting this thing. Yeah, which which is good because you know, the heroes need to have trouble; they can't just win everything. It's not very engaging if the hero never has trouble. So that's cool. Uh, and the expressions, the facial expressions in this engine are so good. Perfect timing. That's that's it's just so well animated, it's fantastic. Then of course to cap off the trailer, we have maybe the, the coolest thing in the trailer. <laughs> yeah! So so we have Dante, he starts off with the woohoo yeah from the end of trailer one. It, and I think that's like a callback, like hey this is a continuation from that scene. He's got a motorcycle devil arm! It's the coolest! I love the theories that, hey, I, I hope this is a devil arm. I'm not sure who came up with that theory. I guess it's because it kind of looked like Pandora, but man, it is true! That looked like gameplay doing that loop. That kind of looked like gameplay there, not sure. That's definitely gameplay. It looks kind of slow to wield, so I'm not sure if it's going to be like really slow when you're swinging, or if that's just a, a move that's like a power move. And you turn it back into a motorcycle. Oh, this is so so cool. That's that's just. Oh, I can't wait for this game. Um, also, this kind of this looks like Sparta on his back, but it's hard to tell. Uh, do we have? Does he have anything on his back here? He doesn't. Yeah, kind of looks like Sparta. I hope it is, because Dante should use Sparta more. <laughs> he can't. Yeah, he, he should use Sparta. And we finally have the release date, March 8th next year. Whew, that's, that's exciting. So, yeah. Um, 
This game looks great. <laughs> uh, yeah, I was expecting a Dante trailer here, but it makes more sense to have another Nero trailer since Nero is what they're focusing on at Gamescom. They have it's a playable demo at Gamescom right now, and it's a, it's Nero gameplay. But they have announced that there will be Dante. There's, there's more Dante info coming. But now they've given us this this beautiful sequence to get us happy. So Dante's look is working more for me the more I uh, the more I see of it. It's just one of those things I needed to get used to. <laughs> everything that everything about that <laughs> Whew, okay that's that's pretty amazing but there's a lot more than just the trailer though there's kind of there's a ton of uh, little interviews and there's a tons of gameplay footage out there so i'm gonna gonna show some stuff uh let's start with the okay they, they featured this on the xbox uh stream uh what are they called inside xbox Inside Xbox at Gamescom, they featured. Change the window. Oh, there you go. So the, first of all, they showed the trailer. This is where we, I first saw the trailer. I was had this stream open, waiting for the MC5. Perfect timing. I would skip ahead, but this video is, yeah, we're at that 1 hour 32 mark. It's a long video, so I think I'd accidentally skip ahead past the actual developer stuff. Because they talk with uh, with Matt and Itzino. This stuff, I'm, I'm not quite sure how much I should kind of cut in here, because Matt does a pretty good job of just explaining everything. I'm not sure if I have much to add, so <laughs> I'll just, I'll just show it, I'll just show the footage. Spiele auf der leistungsstärksten Konsole der Welt. Yeah. Gamescom is a German convention, so it's in Germany. All right, there you go, Devil May Cry 5 confirmed. Wrong in there, but March 8th, 2019. Uh, they switched the dates back and forth in Europe. So yeah. I don't think it's August. It's it's much sooner than that. It's March. Yeah, 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 March 8th. Now, here to give us more details on how the game is shaping up is Itsuna-san and Matt from Capcom. How are y'all doing today? Good, how you doing, man? I'm, you know what? I got to match your excitement. So All I'm right. doing that great. Okay, I am doing so that happy. great. People are finally getting a chance to play the game here at Gamescom. I just want to point out he's wearing the coat. Uh, this is this is Nero's coat. It's, it's, it's his coat, apparently, they uh, they made... I'm not sure if I said this last analysis was that info came out later, but they, they made a real coat for Nero and then they actually scanned in the textures to get it looking as realistic as possible. But that basically is actually Nero's coat. The closest you can get anyway. Oh, it cost $10,000. <laughs> Jesus. First time. We did yesterday. We and did. If there's a better demo here at Gamescom, I mean, no disrespect to anything that we've seen before, but I'd be very impressed if there's something better here. Look, we really appreciate it. We are super excited. We're... It was, it's been amazing all day long. It's been the longest line from what I can tell, and it's just such an honor to have so many people excited about the game, you know? So let's talk about the game. Um, in playing, immediately it became clear there are entirely new mechanics in Devil May Cry 5, starting with the art. Devil Breakers, exactly. Yeah. That's, that's why I don't have my sleeve here. Exactly. So the Devil Breakers are the new system for Nero that is going to give him a chance to experiment with all kinds of new gameplay. There's going to be eight different standard Devil Breakers that players are going to be able to use, and there's all kinds of different moves that you could do with the Devil Breakers that you couldn't do before in Devil May Cry 4. Yeah, we're seeing some of that action here. Look at that, there you go, we're, we're jumping also right seeing, in. Tell us about this boss here. All right, yeah, well it turns out, so this is the boss fight that everybody playing the Gamescom demo is getting a chance to play. This is the Goliath. Fun fact, the Goliath is based on our buddy uh, Brian, who's the brand manager in Europe for Devil May Cry, at least that's what I'm telling people. And he's huge. He's, he's huge. huge, exactly. He's huge and he's got a big booming voice just like this guy. So here we go. Already we're starting with this, right? Eternal Sun. Yeah. Taking a look here. What's what's going on with the Goliath here? Look at this. Oh, what was that? Kirikaete. That's right, that's right. So this is this is exclusive to inside Xbox right here. You see this? He just switched over to the Buster Arm, which is Nico's way of trying to replicate the Devil Bringer. Boom! Oh, I love the pose. I love the pose. I was not able to do that. He was doing that to us. Yeah, the way that building collapsed looked 
kind of beautiful. So yeah, the buster is not going to be a normal part of the moveset. It's only if you have that specific arm, the buster arm. That's going to be really strange for me to get used to, but, you know, I'll get used to it because it allows you to have just a, a bigger pool of options depending on what arms you have. So that will be interesting to get used to. Yeah, absolutely. I got lost around. Right? So, well, and that's the you guys didn't have a chance to play as that because we don't have that in this build. That's an exclusive just for Inside Xbox to show you guys one of the special devil breakers that you can use in the game that we don't have the build today. That, that's okay. why we do All right, I got it. That's, yeah. that's, why, we just, that's, that's, why, we that's why you guys I've got to admit, I'm, I'm a bit new to the franchise and I dabbled a bit in 4, but Devil May Cry 5 is going to be my first foray into it. I need to know the setup. What do I need to know about this game? Tell me a bit about the story. Look. Devil May Cry is a game about Dante and Nero and, they, and the descendants of Sparta who are taking on demons, okay? So that's kind of the gist of it anyways. Uh, if you want to know how to get into Devil May Cry 5, I would suggest on Xbox Game Pass, you're going to get the chance to play Devil May Cry 4 Special Edition. So I'd say check that out, and that'll give you an... So when he started saying... Um, when he started saying... Oh, you'll get the chance to play Devil... Yeah, I thought he was going to say, oh, you get to play this demo with Xbox Game Pass. I was starting to think, oh my god, I need to find someone who has an Xbox One. <laughs> but no, he's just saying DMC4 SE is on there at the moment. Nice warm-up for what you can play in Devil May Cry 5. All right, why don't we look at uh, a little bit more gameplay, and it's Sunosan, perhaps you'll you'll tell us what we're seeing Ooh, here. Sounds good. Yeah, multi All right, so it's a little bit more of the Goliath here, I think, from the beginning, and we just saw a cool grapple move. That's right, that's right. So it's why you're not doing most of that. Why you're not doing that? Ah, no, you're coming at so you're right there is this wire move that he's doing this is actually an approximation of one of the moves you can do with the devil bringer and devil may cry 4 you can still do that in here and whether you have a devil breaker or not you can always do that move you'll also notice though that there's this gauge in the top left corner that charges up that's something called uh you could do something called the ex act and that's a move that if you time your button press just right you're going to rip up your sword right after doing an attack and strengthen your next attack so, I wish we had talked to you before we yeah, played. Before we right, played, because I absolutely, talk actually, I'll ask you this right now. There's there's melee. There's obviously the, the guns yeah. that you carry, and there's their, your devil breaker, right? What do I need to know going in? What's the best way to chain combos? Get get that best well, ranking. Best way to chain combos is to do a whole bunch of different moves real quick here. But look at this. So get that here. Yeah. So I, I just think it's funny that one of the guys is is um, trying to come at this from a, like a newcomer's perspective. Like, how do I devil may cry? But like Matt's trying to like give us fans like some really specific. Uh, details. I just thought that was really funny. <laughs> Must be really hard doing these interviews and like trying to figure out who you're aiming this for. Like, what audience are you trying to hit? The existing fans or the possible new fans? Nero's using the Gerber Devil, Devil, <laughs> Devil Breaker. Yeah. And you'll notice that he's got a supercharged move that you can do with that. And what he just the, the right there is called the Pedal Ray. That's this move that bounces lasers off the walls. It's actually the most effective in small environments because every time it bounces, you're going to find that it actually gets stronger. So it was really smart of our guy, Yoshida-san, he's the one doing the gameplay here, <laughs> to <laughs> uh, use that move in that environment. But to get back to your question, so Nero's got the Red Queen and the Blue Rose that he's had from Devil May Cry 4, so both melee attacks and gun attacks they can use at a distance, as well as these Devil Breakers, which are new to the series. And there's a bit of a risk-reward, I feel like, with the Devil Breakers. Like, if you rely on them too much, you lose that arm, right? Exactly. You're correct. What's going to happen is there's a couple different ways that they can break. You notice in the bottom right corner here that you actually have a limited number of Devil Breakers at any given time. And so if you take damage while you're using a Devil Breaker, they could break. Or if you do one of their super moves, then that could break it. Or then finally, there's another one called Breakaway, where if you hit the left bumper, you're going to automatic, you're going to break one completely. Uh, but you could do that on purpose. And the reason you would want to do that is, A, if you want to switch over to one of the Devil Breakers in your inventory, or B, if you need, if you're in a sticky situation, that acts as an emergency of fate. All right. What are okay, so you said one reason you might want to do that, what you might want to break your arm on purpose, is to switch over to another one. So I'm not sure if we will actually get the ability to switch arms on like on the fly without actually breaking them. So it might be quite different than just weapon switching or gun switching for Dante, which is fine. Yeah, it's a new, it's a different approach. Our last few seconds, do you have any shout outs that you want to give? Man, I do. Actually, I want to give a big shout out to the dev team in Osaka because they are doing a fantastic job. They're working hard every night. Yoshida-san, Ikeda-san, Zibin, Mithanina, Gamatiza, Takadani. Of course, man. I don't know. 
今最後の調整で頑張ってるんで大阪で。ね、本当にそうですよね。They're they're working on their butts off right now on doing the final adjustments to the. Uh, so this, I wasn't sure if I should comment on this, but I think I should. It, it's kind of a bummer. We said that they're working, the development team is working hard every night. Every night. So this is, the so video game crunch time, it's a thing that seems to be very widespread in the industry. It's not just a, a Capcom thing. It seems to be in a lot of AAA developers. It was just kind of a bummer hearing him mention that they're working like all night. Or well, every night. Because uh, yeah, crunch time is is a pretty widespread thing from the sounds of it. Where developers to try and get games done on time, they like work all day and all night. And uh, like, there's there's some pretty awful stories coming out of the uh, the video game industry about like developers who they work all day on it, or they only take breaks for like lunch and for dinner, and they like they sleep under their desks and stuff. So that's it's certainly not a, a Devil May Cry only thing. It seems to be all over the place so it's just a real shame just how uh widespread that is and this game doesn't come out until march and they're already in crunch time so crunch time tends to go on for months of just ridiculous overtime work so that's a real shame i just feel like i should point that out because it's one of the realities of video game development unfortunately it's the industry is is doing this a lot yeah that's kind of a bummer but you know it's something that I think we should know and acknowledge as consumers. You know, we, we hope that they can change that. I'd quite, I'd be quite happy if they d d delayed the game by like a year if it meant to, the developers didn't have to work crazy overtime like that. But anyway, onwards with the video. That was a bit of a tangent. I thought it was an important thing to talk about though. The game right now. Also, just a real quick shout out to the Devil May Cry 5 Resetter Discord. Lots of really nice people in there. But yeah, that's where we go, man. Devil May Cry 5 coming out March 8th, 2019. And we're going to find out more about the game at TGS. All right. I know you guys probably wondering about Dante. I'm, I'm wondering a lot. There's so a lot that I need to catch month, up on. Right? That yep. is next coming month. Coming up soon. We'll have to, we have to go to Tokyo now. Yeah, we'll tune yeah. in to TGS, man. We're there. We're there. Come well, on thank over. you so much for yeah. joining us. We absolutely appreciate it. And for those of you Game Pass subscribers, keep in mind, you can play Devil May Cry 4 SE right now. And there is still a lot more inside Xbox coming up. Look, Kari, what's next? Well, Jeff, I think it's time to spend some time with our favorite new heroine, Sable. Okay, so that's the end of the, uh, the DMC5 segment of uh, the stream. Pause. Oh, pause. Yeah, so they announced the Tokyo Game Show is where we're going to learn a lot more about Dante. So that's going to be the Dante. I, I don't know, maybe a, a Dante trailer. Maybe, I'm not sure if they'll show much Dante gameplay, but I'm expecting at least a Dante trailer. So that's pretty exciting. <laughs> that uh, it's nice that they had, they gave us just that little little morsel of info at the end of this trailer with the the motorcycle with devil arm. But, you know, I'm sure a lot of us are excited to see what Rebellion looks like now. Cause, well, does he use Rebellion, or is he going to use Sparta instead? I, I saw a screenshot of him holding Rebellion. I'm not sure where that screenshot came from, though. I think it was a leak. But um, so we'll have to see what they decide to show at Tokyo Game Show, and, like, how many weapons. Probably don't want to show all of his weapons. And then we'd have nothing to discover when the game came out. Uh, so there was also, I'll, I'll put a link to this stream in the, uh, the video description, and there was also some, there was an IGN stream as well. Actually, it kind of happened at the same time as the Xbox One, which was really awkward. <laughs> I couldn't watch both at the same time when they were live. Uh, I won't show this whole thing, because it actually, they had some connection issues. It gets really laggy and messed up. They, uh, they drop a lot of frames, and the audio starts cutting in and out. I will show you this little segment, though, because uh, there's some interesting stuff to see here. Yes. Yeah, that sounds great. Obviously, DMC is known for its stylish combat. And alongside the arm, we have uh, the Red Queen is back as well. Yep, exactly. exactly. There it is. There's the there blast it right is, there. Man. Look at that That's thing. That's Damon Ray. It's Damon Ray. going full okay, super it's showing off here. Exactly. Yep, pretty cool laser. Oh, I like it. And see, and so now it broke, so now you'll see the counter went down, uh, but he, then he went and picked up another one on the floor. And what happens is Nico, his partner, has developed these different devil breakers. Yeah. And she's, in the, in the uh, canon of the game anyways, she's gone through the levels and she's actually placed them in the levels so that as you run out of them, hopefully you can find more throughout the level. Or you can actually buy them in the in-game store, in the game store being 
the Devil May Cry van where uh, you can use red orbs, for instance, to purchase. Right. Yeah, so there, there's a lot of his arms um, just lying around the environment. I thought when I was watching the, the, uh, the playable demo, when I was watching videos of that and just saw there were arms just lying around everywhere. I thought that was hilarious. I <laughs> love that they have a little reason that, oh, you no, know, Nico left them lying around. <laughs> uh, it is silly, but I like it. <laughs> Because so, Nico in the game kind of works as your, your shop for exactly. purchasing upgrades and things exactly. like that. Exactly. Uh, in the game, as I said, we've got the Red Queen back. Has that changed much from how it was used in, in the previous installment? Uh, so that was an air taunt. Yeah, air taunt is a thing now. He's got an air taunt where he kind of he rides on Red Queen for a moment. It's like a kind of a, a skating move. I'm not sure what the skating move is called, but I don't know anything about skating. It looks like that anyway. We'll see a lot more of that. So just... Yeah, this little segment has some taunts in it. Excellent question. Red Queen on DMC4, から、なんか変わったりしますか。えっと、そうですね。あの、もっとデビル4の時よりも、あの、機械的に説得力のあるデザインになってるんで、細かいとこまでできてるんで、よく見てほしいなと。So, <笑><笑> Okabe is actually showing off the new design of of uh, the Red Queen there. Well, at least from a design perspective, yeah. We've taken a lot more effort to actually redesign it a little bit so that it feels more mechanical. Yeah. Because the whole idea is that you can rev it up and get that extra power out of it, right? Which I got to say is just the most satisfying thing in the world. I never knew how much I got a lot of familiar taunts here and you can still do the drop kick move, rainbow. It seems like you don't have to have a huge run up this time though. So that's cool. You might actually be able to use that in combos. <laughs> I wanted to rev a sword right? until I did, did right? it in a video game. Uh, when you pull up, and of course in this game you can too, but when you pull up EX Act and you're able to hit, hit the enemy and then time it just right so that you can charge up the level on there, it feels so good, right? It does feel, you're doing Kamehameha's with one hand, you're hitting yes. people with a motorbike exactly. sword with the other one. Exactly. It's so satisfying. But I mean, of course, we've still got the blue rose though. Yes. We've still got the blue rose. Of course, yeah. Has that changed much in how it's implemented? Blue rose is changed. Mm -hmm. This is some info about Blue Rose because there's a lot of changes here. Um, I don't fully understand how it works yet, but uh, they, they explain some of it here. See, it's got uh, you actually kind of have to reload Blue Rose. You've got charges here. It does like powered up shots. So we'll uh, we'll see what they say. Well, so okay, san will show us what's going to happen is with the blue rose you're going to be able to load the gun you're going to be able to do this load action with the gun and by doing that then you're going to load in two different kinds of bullets and by loading in those two different kind of bullets and then firing you see what happens is it you get this kind of multiple hit uh gunshot out of it now see when he when he loads the gun see now uh, on the ui there underneath the health yeah you'll see these bullets there's six different bullets that show up and so oh, yeah i see them yep. there you, you, reload, you can reload all six and then yeah you have three different shots that well, basically you can shoot it three times uh powered up that's amazing yeah it looks great and obviously the uh the combat is not just you know over a wide variety it's also the whole point of it is that it's supposed to look stylish. Exactly, exactly. I just want to say, my action to even, you know, you put style. That's the point I was getting off. Oh, there we go. There's the, the pedal ray right the there. Ray. That is amazing. And ex you're exactly right. <laughs> I didn't see that before. Smoking sexy style this time. <laughs> uh, yeah, so the blue rose, it, um, they, they keep talking about it firing two different kinds of bullets, which are has made some people think that maybe you have different ammo types for it. I don't think that's what they mean uh, in the lore. Uh, even in DMC4's lore, I think it was that Blue Rose, since it, it fires two bullets at the same time with a single shot, uh, one of the bullets was meant to... One, one of the bullets fires slightly before the other one, and one of the bullets is meant to break a demon's armour, and the other bullet is meant to go through and do damage after the armor's broken. I think that's what they mean, since like every shot of Blue Rose is two bullets here. I think that's what they're talking about. Yeah, so every, you get like a charged up shot, you get three of them, and then you have to reload. And it seems like maybe there's a way to do that on, I don't know how you reload, it must be a button binding of some kind. Or maybe it's just, you can't shoot. I've seen people shoot, I think I've been seen people shoot even though they're out of ammo and it's just a normal shot. It's, it's tough to tell without being able to play this myself. Well, yeah, I'll have to see if there's any more impressions from people who get to play it and uh, play the demo over in Gamescom. 
if anyone can say how Blue Rose, uh, Blue Rose works, because how does Charge Shot interact with these? Are these the new Charge Shot, or is Charge Shot something new on top of, or something on top of this system? Yeah, there's something going on with Blue Rose. I'm not sure what it is yet. It seems a lot more involved now, though. Yeah, I'm not sure if there's much else I want to show on this video. We'll watch a little bit more of it. I mean, it's, we designed all of these Nero, all of Nero's moves with the double breakers in mind, with the idea that okay, how can people then pull off their own their own brand of stylish moves and stylish combos with the double breakers? Right. I mean, that's one thing I noticed when I was playing the demo. I had a whole fight for maybe three minutes. I never even touched the ground. It's this nice. continuous, you know, fighting where you can just pull someone up with yep. them, pull oh, them up. Dude. It's just never ending. Well, exactly. And the wire snatch, actually, the wire snatch, that's a, that's a really great uh, thing to bring up. So in Devil May Cry 4, you had the Devil Bringer, and the Devil Bringer you could actually use to pull in your enemies. Big right? old which hands, is, yeah. Which I always thought was such a cool approach to action games, you know? Absolutely. Okay, you, you're always thinking about enemy grouping when you're playing these kinds of action games, right? Yeah. But, okay, what if you give them the ability to actually rope in an enemy and bring them to you? I, I thought that was such an interesting uh, innovation that Ethan san came up with. So, because we lost the Devil Bringer, though, we, we needed to find another way to give Nero the ability to rope in the enemies. And so that's where the wire snatch comes in. The cool thing is, even if you don't have, regardless of which Devil Breaker you have, or even if you don't have any devil breakers in your inventory at that point in time, you're able to do the wire snatch. Right. Yeah, it's, it's in yeah so that, that's good info there. The questions of uh, if, if you were out of devil breaker arms, would you still be able to snatch? And yes, you can. That's, that's some good info. So I won't show the rest of the video. I'll, I'll give you a link if you want to watch it for yourself, because it does get kind of uh, framey and laggy. And uh, there's a lot of kind of repeated info as well. Uh, so, some other things they mentioned though is that this playable demo is based on Mission 2 from the final game. It's like an edited version of it. And uh, the city that this is taking place in is uh, very London inspired. It's not meant to be London, but it's not London inspired. Okay, so next we'll look at the website which has been updated, the official website. DevilMayCry5.com slash US. We've got a bunch of stuff from the new uh, the new trailer here. Um, which button does? Yeah, there we go. F11. More flash and flare than ever before. I don't know if you want me to read out all this stuff. You know, you you have eyes. You can read. I'll send you off to the website if you want. I'll just kind of point out things that uh, that are interesting. It's several years after Devil May Cry 4. Unusual phenomenon appears in Redgrave City. I'm not sure if I, I didn't think, don't think I mentioned this in the last video. Redgrave City is a, it's a little callback to Dante's pseudonym, Tony Redgrave. That's where he, uh, that's the name he went by for a little bit. That was mostly in one of the comics, I think. So a gigantic tree, it attacks with roots that drain citizens of their blood. So that's, that's something to keep in mind. Mobile Devil May Cry vehicle with his partner Nico. So Nero, uh, Nero seeks to recover many things in Redgrave. Lost pride, stolen power, and a man left behind. So a lot of speculation about who this man could be. Could it be Dante? Could it be V? Uh, who could even be Virgil? We don't know. Original translation, we, uh, there's a translation of this line where we couldn't tell if it was a man specifically. And some people were theorizing, oh, maybe Kyrie got kidnapped again, but no, it's saying specifically a man. I'm guessing it's V based on some of the cutscenes that have come out, which we'll look at pretty soon. But, yeah, we'll, we'll have to wait and see to be sure. All new anti demon arm known as the Devil Breaker. Got little videos of the weapons here. Exceeded combos, unexceeded combos. Here's combo C. Shuffle. There's a lot of familiar moves in the move set. Combustion engine uses added power and propulsions. It has the exceed system. The exceed system looks very similar to how it used to look. And Blue Rose it allows Nero to fire special multi-hit bullets with the powerful color-up skill. I don't know what that is. 
It's not in the move of this, which we'll look at pretty soon. Also, you can uh, you can shoot while rolling now, which is pretty cool. Yeah, so those, those look like normal bullets. So you're shooting there. I don't think you have to have the, the special ammo loaded to do the to shoot at all. Or some of these bullets look a bit more char look a bit more powered up. Like that one looked stronger than normal. Hmm, definitely have to try out this system or get someone who's very familiar with the Devil May Cry to try out the demo and give us some info on that. New power for a broken hunter, a devil breaker. Okay, so it's called Wire Snatch now instead of Snatch. Sends him rocketing towards larger targets, living or otherwise. So it sounds like you can still grapple around the environments. Okay, and here we have five of the Devil Breaker arms. So Matt said that there's going to be eight of them in total, and I believe only these two are in the current playable demo at Gamescom. Overture and uh, Gerbera. Gerbera? I don't know how to pronounce it. Gerbera. I'm not sure what, these, what the theme of the names is. I'm not sure. But Overture, it's the big electric hand thing that we got to see in the first trailer. Electric Bursts, it's the first Devil Breaker available, easy for starting players to use. So it's kind of just a big blast that you can use during combos. Gerbera looks a lot more involved and technical and pretty cool. Launches shockwaves from its petal shaped complex reverberatory furnace and can be used for instantaneous movement. So you kind of use it for like these dashes, which are pretty cool. And it shoots a big laser, the Gerbera seems really cool. I wonder if there's more to Overture's moveset. Hmm. Ragtime. So this is the Time Stopper. Great special force fields that warp and slow the flow of time. I'm guessing you have to break it to use the time function, uh, the time stopping. Otherwise, it would be you have to find some other way to balance it. Hmm. Punchline, which is that's a great name. <laughs> Flying Haymaker. Rare demonic minerals give this Devil Breaker jet propulsion power. It can detach to fly around autonomously during which Nero can ride it. Slam into demons in this mode for even more damage. So that's the the rocket riding. So it sounds like you can do that during gameplay. <laughs> Very cool. So that must be what he was doing during that boss in the uh, the second trailer. I wonder what colour this arm is. I can't really get a good look at it. There was that golden arm he was using to do that uh, that that move I couldn't identify from the trailer. It might have just been Gerbera. Gerbera is sort of green, but it can also look kind of greeny yellow. So it might have just been Gerbera doing that move I was talking about earlier in the trailer. And then Buster Arm. So this is what you need to do the actual busters. It comes at the price of reduced durability, but the chance to toss around massive demons is well worth it. So it sounds like it's going to break after one throw. So yeah, you have to Make sure you have access to a buster arm when you actually want to do a buster against bosses. That would be interesting to just kind of take note of where the buster arm is and where it is in your clip since I don't think you can swap through them at will. Anyway, a little bit more info here. There's their motorhome, the DMC van. So it's, uh, it's Nico's lodgings and transportation, so she lives in the van as well. Devil May Cry sign, uh, that was a gift from Dante, that's pretty cool. Yeah, call her for my working phone line, she'll come running, letting you acquire Devil Breakers and skills. Her grandmother was Nell Goldstein, 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 the legendary gunsmith. So Nell was, uh, she, she was the one who made uh, Ebony and Ivory for Dante. That was pretty cool. And Dante coming soon at the Tokyo Game Show 2018. <laughs> That's a pretty fantastic uh, shot there. And they've just got the two current trailers and Nero's song, the Devil, Devil Trigger song. You get it from iTunes, Spotify. You can also get it from Google Play, which is where I got it from. I should be playing that in the background, actually, shouldn't I? Let's do that. All right, and there's also a little, uh, a little, an online manual to look at. There we go. 
Gotta make sure it's not too loud. I've adjusted my volume settings lately. Repeat track. Alright, so there's an online manual. Uh, F11. It's at devilmaycry5.com slash xbc slash en. I guess xbc for xbox something? Xbox Centrum? I don't know. This seems to be targeted at people who are playing at Gamescom. There's a lot of info here about his moveset. So let's go have a look at it. There's the basic controls there. Hasn't got the, uh, the more advanced stuff like Exceed, but Exceed's still on that trigger. Auto assist, so there's the auto combos. It can be turned on or off during gameplay by holding uh, R3. Uh, so I don't know if that's just for the Gamescom demo or if that's a thing that will be in the full game. But you have to hold it to turn it on or off, so I don't think you'll be doing it accidentally. We'll have to see though. Alright, so there's Overture. Yeah, they've got Overture and Gerbera. Yeah, those are the two that are in the uh, Gamescom uh, version of the game, the Gamecom, de Gamescom demo. This is the one with the big electric burst. Press and hold B. I don't know, what happens if you just tap B with this one, I wonder. Electric burst, so you get to see the We've got like little videos of the actual moves. Pretty cool. Gerbera, this one seems to have a lot more to it. They only have this move for, for, uh, for Overture. But for this one they've got... Hmm, this, one can, this one can do like air jumps, air dashes. It also does that big laser as far as I know. Press B or left stick B. At least a shockwave. Press B to attack in front of you. Yeah, so there's like the air jump, air dash. And it can negate or reflect enemy projectiles. So I think that's the other, uh, the guard parry move we saw from the trailer. So it only works on projectiles, so that's something to keep in mind. It's not just an all purpose block. But it still gives you a lot of uh, movement, a lot of mobility, very cool. And I think that's also the big laser beam, and like the, uh, if you use the laser beam in the air, then you do a bunch of smaller lasers that bounce around. I think that's all for this one. Yeah, piercing beam attacks. This one seems pretty versatile. <laughs> okay, so break, break, inch, break, age, the pun on breakage. The charging attack will make it more powerful, but the Devil Breaker you have equipped will be destroyed. So this, uh, I was kind of worried when they were talking at the E3 stuff. Um, it's no was saying stuff like, uh, if you got if you get attacked, your Devil Breaker breaks and you lose it and stuff like that. And I was kind of worried. <laughs> that sounds a bit strange. I'm not quite sure if I was a, uh, not yeah, I was worried by that because uh, that would be very punishing for newer players and. I don't think Devil May Cry needs to be more punishing for newer players. I think bringing in more fans is always a good thing. And Devil May Cry 5 in particular seems to have a lot of eyes on it. People who just aren't into DMC or maybe they only played some of the reboot. A lot of them are sitting up and taking notice of DMC 5, so... It would be a shame if it was like super punishing for newcomers. I, I don't think it, like losing a huge chunk of your moveset is kind of a bummer. Uh, but now I've seen the actual gameplay and I've seen more of these mechanics, I realise what they're actually going for and I'm a lot more on board with it. It seems like your arms, like they are meant to be just consumables, you're meant to lose them. There, you get, you can hold four at a time as I was saying before. And uh, you're, you're meant to just blow them up to do certain attacks. Or if you if you get hit while doing those attacks and you also lose them. Which I will, we'll see some footage that has that pretty soon. Yeah, so Overture is the, that's the big electric thing, is it? It's, uh, yeah. Yeah, that's the electric arm. Now you hold it to charge it, and then release, and uh, it turns it into a bomb. Shove it into the ground or an enemy and explodes after a set amount of time. Multiple units can be placed at once. Okay, so if, I guess if you've got multiple Overtures in your, in your, like, your clip of arms, you can... 
You can do a bunch of, you can leave a bunch of them lying around. Actually, what did he say there? What was that? If you want it, it's all yours. <laughs> if you want it, it's all yours. Well, I'm not sure if you still have charge shot level 3 like CMC4, but this kind of reminds me of that, of like the after bomb that charge shot level 3 leaves behind. You leave bombs in enemies and then boom! So that gives me a bit of that vibe. So that's pretty cool. And yeah, that doing that consumes your... Um, Okay, yeah, here's the big laser beam. This this is the laser for the uh, the other arm, the one that lets you do lots of aerial maneuverability. But doing the big lasers consumes the arm as well. Looks pretty cool though. <laughs> yeah, so you are meant to just go through these arms. You see at the end it actually shattered, and yeah, if you do it in the air you do these the bouncing lasers. That's pretty cool. Diamond Ray, Pittle Ray. Okay, now this is interesting. Breakaway. Press LB, consumes one Devil Breaker. And force, forcefully sever your Devil Breaker to generate an explosion. Use it to get out of dangerous situations, even escape oncoming damage. So that's the, that's the Devil Trigger button right there. So I'm interested. Very interested. Yeah, so you press it and it lets you escape. Uh, there was a clip. Was it? Uh, did they? Was it in the Xbox stream we saw? But yeah, there was a clip of uh, people getting pulled into the boss's stomach, and then you press LB to uh, to escape. Just like uh, in DMZ4, we would press LB to activate uh, Devil Trigger to escape from like f grab attacks and other stuff. But this this is that kind of functionality. That's really interesting. Even escape oncoming damage. I wonder if it just gives you invinci invincibility frames like uh, Devil Triggering did in 4. Yeah, and it costs a de Devil Breaker. Whatever your current Devil Breaker is. So you can use it to uh, to swap through your clip to get to the next arm if there's an arm you want to use in particular. So this this mechanic it brings a lot of a lot of the functionality of the old Devil Trigger over. So I actually am starting to wonder what form Devil Trigger will take in this game. Yeah, this this is mapped to LB. It kind of makes me wonder, will he Devil Trigger at all? But his song is called Devil Trigger. <laughs> it would be really weird if he never got Devil Trigger. So I don't. Maybe Devil Trigger is going to be totally different this time. Are you on a different button? Or it would be weird if I had this whole mechanic that only works until you act, unlock Devil Trigger, wouldn't it? Maybe Devil Triggering will cost a Devil Breaker. Maybe that's what's going to happen. That would be weird though, if you had to activate Devil Trigger to cycle through your breakers. Hmm. I have so many questions, <laughs> but we don't know the answers to those. I would just have to be patient. I don't know if I want to know the answers to them until I actually get the game myself, honestly, but you know, I'm, oh, I'm still following the news though. Re-equipping Devil Breakers. The next Devil Breaking magazine will be equipped. It seems like that's an automatic thing. You know, just cycles so you can see what the next arm in your clip is. Yeah, and they're just kind of lying around, you just walk over them to pick them up. You not pick up any new arms if your magazine is already full, so I could see myself kind of like blowing up an arm I don't like so I can pick up another one that I found. Alright, we've got some basic abilities here. Side roll. It's a similar input to in 4 or in the other games, but uh, so they describe it as left stick horizontally. I don't know if this is still relative to the enemy though. Also while you're evading you can press X to shoot, that's cool. Uh, yeah, so the, the dodge, I've, I've wanted them to rework the Devil May Cry dodge for quite a while, I don't really like it actually very much. It's, it's, it's relative, it's sideways relative to where the enemy is that you're locked onto. And sometimes the, if like an enemy is jumping around or jumping over you, it's kind of tough to tell which direction you actually need to press to dodge. So you actually notice when I play Devil May Cry, I tend to jump to dodge things because I find it way more reliable. 
Yeah, I, I jump all the time to dodge things. I guess that's why I have so much trouble with Virgil, since he doesn't have a double jump. <laughs> yeah, but uh, I've, I kind of I love the way Bayonetta does it, where there's just a dodge button. But uh, there's not really room on the controller in Devil May Cry. I mean, there's there's room for Nero, but not for like Dante. He's he uses every button on that thing. So yeah, I wanted them to rework the dodge. I don't know how to do it though. But I'm wondering if. Yeah, I'm wondering if this is no longer relative to an enemy. It just says left it horizontally. But again, this is not a thing that I that we can tell by this text. It might just be describing it simply. You have to actually play the game to figure out if you just press it left or right, or if it's is still relative to an enemy. Hmm. So that's that's a big question I have. You know, the two big questions uh, that can be answered by the current gameplay demo is how does charge shot work with this new blue rose mechanic and uh, how do, is, does how does the dodge work? Is is it like the old dodges or is it uh, new? Hey hike. So double jump, simple. Wire snatch. That's the, it's done just like the uh, the old snatch was. Large or heavy enemies can't be pulled in, and you get pulled to them instead, just like in four. The graphic is definitely a bit. It's a lot less flashy than in four. That might be pretty intentional though, maybe because in 4 you had that big glowy blue arm that came out, which might look really weird in this kind of art style. <laughs> now it's just like a grappling hook. It's a mechanical arm now. Kind of glowy blue arms with a grappling, with a uh, mechanical arm. You do get to see like a, a little impact point on the enemy though. So it's less flashy, but I'm still fine with it. Maybe attack. Use Y to attack. So we've got some Red Queen combos here. We've got the Quick and Dirty 4 Hit Sword combo, Red Queen combo A, just like in 4. Yeah, that's just like in 4, that one. Streak is back, thankfully, his version of Stinger. Looks beautiful. It, it does still have the, the uh, exceeded animation for it too. I've, I've seen ex exceeded streaks used in this gameplay, very cool. He still does split and double down. Double Down is the exceeded version of, of Split. Different animation. They don't show it here, but it still looks like it did in 4. Oh, it says... Lift it back plus Y. It was forward, like it, in 4 it was left stick towards the enemy. Hmm. Okay, so that, there's actually some more combos here. Red Queen combo C. They don't have... B. I'm not sure if B is still in the game, but they do have C, it still looks like it did in 4. Yeah, that's a nice combo, I like that one a lot. My roll is still here, still perform the same way. You can still flick them up in the air or follow them up, depending on if you hold the button. Shuffle back and forward, Y, that's still here. There's still got the, the step backwards and then the slash. So you can see a lot of these moves pretty much lifted straight from 4, which I'm pretty I'm fine with. That's what I wanted for Nero. I wanted to just copy his move set over and give him a bunch of cool new stuff as well. And that's what they've done. Yeah, there's his aerial combo. Aerial rave. Well, aerial combo is what they call it. Roulette spin, it's still done the same way. Why, why, delay, why. Still there in Calibre, that's I love Calibre, still done the same way. The aerial sort of dash to attack. Beautiful move for bosses, especially big bosses. Yeah, so they, these are all straight from four. So go back to here. Oh, actually no. Closes the wrong window. Yeah. Go back down and there's some more stuff to look at. Where were we up to here? Okay, exceed. Let's still press left trigger to charge your X gauge and power up the Red Queen sword. So you can still rev it manually like that. And there's a whole new uh, UI for revving. We've got one thing flaming, another, then. Hmm, I can't tell if there's still three charges of it. I'll have to look at more gameplay. 
Press left trigger at the right time after any attack to instantly charge it to full. If your timing is off, you only gain a small amount of charge. So th this is max act and x act. X act is where you gain a small amount of charge, and max uh, max act is where you perfectly time it and get all the charge. Let's still in the game. Beautiful. Okay, yeah, there are three charges. See, there's three. All right. Took me a little bit to get used to the, the new UI. There's still three charges. Very good. Well, that seems to work just like it did in four. Very good. I love the Exceed system. I'm so glad it's back. Gun attack. Use extra fire the weapon you have equipped. Wait. Does that mean he's going to get different weapons? It might just be the way they worded it. To fire the weapon you have equipped. Hmm. You're also firing me there. Hmm. I'm really wondering about this now. Hmm. He already gets all these different arms. I don't know if he, if he needs other weapons to make him more complicated, but if they want to do it, go for it. <laughs> I'll be quite happy about that. So here it's talking about the charge shot. Hold X until your left arm glows, then feel the bullet gauge to charge up your shot. After charging, release X to fire an extra powerful bullet. Ah, uh, yeah. This, how do you feel the bullet gauge? It doesn't say how. So is that actually the charge shot where he reloads? Is that what that is? I'm so, uh, I'm so confused. <laughs> I have no idea how this charge mechanic works. So it seems like you can trigger the reload manually from the footage I've seen. I just have no idea how. Is that is that what holding the X does? Hmm. Solid rank. This is all pretty standard Devil May Cry. The bonus red orb. Is that from an environment or is it also from enemies? Like in one and three? Extra bonus, I wonder what that's for. I kind of miss the red for, for SS. Yellow is... Eh, yeah, yellow is a fine colour, it's just it's a bit less exciting than the red. Because the red match Nero is kind of exceeded moves, so it looks pretty cool. I kind of miss that. The yellow will do fine though. Then Taunt. Raise your stylus rank. Blah, 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 and you can taunt in the air. Yeah, that's... <laughs> beautiful. Beautiful. Whew, okay, this has been an hour. We've got a little bit more to look at, but uh, we'll try not to spend too long on this next part because, uh, uh, well, actually, I don't know if I'll even get in trouble if I spend too long on this next part, which is the this a 15 minute video on IGN, IGN's YouTube video of gameplay. I don't want to show the whole thing because showing 15 minute, minutes of someone else's video kind of that would cross the line into stealing, I think. So I don't feel comfortable doing that, but I'd rather. I would like to show you some highlights from it. Alright. That window. And it's this video. Oop, turn off the music. This. Yeah, yeah, okay. So this is the playable demo. Hey. Okay. There we go. Just close it. <laughs> my my uh, media buttons are now controlling my video player. So this is this is the playable demo that's at Gamescom. This this shows pretty much the whole thing. Yeah, if you want to see this whole video, I recommend you head over to their channel and just watch the whole thing front to back. I'm going to have links for pretty much everything I'm showing here. And if there's one I forgot, just leave a comment saying, "Hey, you forgot this one video," and I'll put a link to it for you, for you, so you can go watch all this footage yourself. I think I forgot to mention, but in the in the, the second trailer, they, they played the second verse from the Devil Trigger song. That's kind of cool. It's like it's part two of the trailer. <laughs> Arr, I want it. That's it. No more wheels from here. All right. Guess I'm walking then. Yo, yo, yo! Check it out. What? 
And this is? From Morrison. I think it's his manifesto. So Morrison was a character from the anime. I haven't seen the anime in a long time. He was the character at the start of the first trailer. The character we didn't know, we didn't recognise. Because he looks rather different now, we'll see. And uh, so I like that his, his notes are the, uh, the tutorial. <laughs> I don't know if this is going to be in the final version or if this is just for the Gamescom demo. Yeah, Mor Morrison, he works with Dante a lot, helping him take jobs. I forget exactly what his role is, but he helps, he helps Dante get jobs, I think. It seems like he, uh, he's helping Nero out as well. Yeah, so these are the, the two breakers in the demo. Well, so this music here is interesting. It's a pretty different style from the Devil Trigger song. Oh. Really interesting. I'm, I'm wondering if that's Nico's theme or something. You can see he's got the, uh, the his extra breakers uh, on his belt. Look how colourful those balloons look. They look kind of out of place, don't they? <laughs> what a mess! Here's the new red orbs. I like how they change the design of these things a little bit each game. They look quite different this time, but you know, they're still definitely red orbs. Also, check this out. Exchange these for new weapons and skills. New weapons. So maybe that ties into... Maybe they just mean the new Devil Breakers. But maybe it's a hint that maybe he buys new guns. And they might even be talking about Dante or V. Or maybe they buy new weapons with red orbs. By the way, this wording is interesting. So this is interesting animation where you can actually run around while you have Red Queen out. That's very cool. I like that there's an animation for that now. The animation itself looks a little weird though. It's like he's limping a little bit, like he's struggling to carry it. Yeah, it doesn't look as stylish as I was hoping, but it's still, it's a cool feature. It's a cool option. But yeah, this is just a playable demo. There could be more changes coming down the line. What are the video uh, pause? Oh, I don't, as I said before, I don't want to show this whole video because it's 15 minutes of someone else's video. That does not feel right at all. Oh, there we go. It's playing again. Okay, so yeah, this. Press B to attack with your Devil Breaker, taking damage during this attack will destroy your current Devil Breaker. So that's what Itsuno was talking about. You only, uh, you only break your arm if you get damaged while doing arm attacks. So it's, it's an interesting risk-reward thing. I like this. I actually like this a fair bit. Especially because those attacks seem to be kind of the bigger wind-up attacks in your moveset. Yeah, and they kind of skip past that, but that, that was saying that charging up the Devil Breaker will consume it. But uh, it would do a more powerful tech. It's a nice little vocal thing there, but uh, it got it got cut off unfortunately. But uh, we'll hear it later. It's it's a pretty good uh, voice line. So the gameplay is really quite fast actually. I was worried this might, might be a bit slow uh, after coming from DMC4 Turbo version, but uh, no, this looks pretty fast, I think. Yes, yeah, so there was that aerial move with the, uh, the, the Gerbera arm doing the aerial dashes, very cool. A 
Okay, so there's... Uh, they've taken something from the reboot here, which it, there's a voice yelling out as you reach new style rankings, which it kind of bummed me out when I first heard it, because it, it sounded exactly like the reboot. <laughs> um, uh, it's something that we can get used to, I suppose. But uh, yeah, I have mixed feelings on it. Mm. Not sure if I like it or not, but it's something I'll probably just filter out as we play. Uh, also, I've heard that you can, uh, you can turn it off. So that's, that's cool that there's that feature. I've seen a lot of people say that, especially like reboot fans, I've seen them say, oh, this looks like the reboot, so I'm actually really interested in it. And I'm actually not sure why they say that. I'm guessing it's just because of the different art style from 4 and because of the little flares like that. And uh, when, you end, when you end combat, there's like that slow motion thing. Those are the only similarities I noticed because the gameplay looks like exactly like 4. <laughs> like his moveset looks exactly like 4 with, with extra abilities. But you know, if, if little flares like this get to reboot fans interested as well, then I'm fine with that. Because uh, I, think, I think a lot of reboot fans would actually like Devil May Cry if they got into it. And if they could get past things like, uh, like how 4 has half of the game that repeated. <laughs> yeah, so I, I, I'm, I'm fine with them trying to bring in as many people as they can here. And yeah, as I said, apparently you can, apparently you can turn this off, which is what I heard from the DMC5 Info Twitter. Which shout outs to them, they've been doing a lot of work over the past couple of days trying to uh, bring together all this info from all these different sources. Also, hearing Devil Triggered the during the battle theme is just wonderful. <laughs> it's great. I think they might have just done the uh, breakage move. Let me just go back. Back a bit further. You can see they've got, they've got two out of four at the moment. Yeah, they just did the, the breakage move. Yeah, that's a fun way to end that. <laughs> yeah, so there's a little reload animation there. I, I still, I don't know if you trigger that manually or how that works or... So many questions. The green orb looks pretty interesting this time. Yes, so th this is a cool thing where uh, he, he's actually he's out of Devil Breaker arms. He's got zero out of four. This is a cool thing with the the way that they're consumable. He's actually running around with only one arm at the moment. And you can you can kick butt with one arm just like in the trailer. That's so cool. And then he picked up another arm and got it equipped. Yeah, so I'll, sk I'll skip ahead there. As I said, I'm not comfortable showing an entire 15 minute video from somewhere else. But uh, this this is an enemy introduction. Also, cool guys don't look at explosions. These things look a lot like Hell Prides from Three. Hell Canans, Canans. I'm not sure how you pronounce that. It's got a different name, but uh, they look look very reminiscent of those enemies. They're pretty big actually, they're kind of more like vanguards. Something in between the two enemies maybe. Once again it says dodging left stick horizontally. I still, I'm, I'm hoping that works differently from the older games, we'll see. So uh, it actually skipped past the, the B, but uh, I like how every Devil May Cry game has different uh, names for each style rank, like Apocalyptic. Uh, for this one, B is Badass, which <laughs> I'm not sure how I feel about that. It's a little on the nose, 
But yeah, it's it's fine. All right, so I'll I'll skip ahead. Once again, you can watch this whole thing if you want. I'll I'll put a link to it. Yeah, there we go. That's that's the voice line I was talking about. Happy birthday. Now make a wish. Yeah, I left him with the uh, the explosive arm bomb. That's a great voice line. Also, these green flying enemies remind me of uh, Vigor Wasps from, from Monster Hunter World. <laughs> so that's going to take some getting used to. <laughs> Those things uh, in Monster Hunter World, they're things that heal you. Uh, and I kind of doubt that they heal you in this game. They're probably just enemies. That's just a funny little note. Yeah, it's cool how mobile you can be now, especially once you've got the Gerber arm equipped. Just kind of zooming around, it's really cool. Okay, so he got hit while charging up that move, the big laser, and so that arm actually broke. That's kind of how that works, that's cool. But there's some cutscenes we'll have a look at. I'll skip ahead to the actual, yeah, this, this cutscene's really cool. Somebody call a doctor? Sorry to disappoint you. Hey, you happen to see a guy around here about this big uses a cane? I was supposed to meet him. Did you snack on him? Okay, so yeah, first of all, that whole van thing was amazing. <laughs> And uh, he's asking about someone with a cane, so I'm guessing he's asking about V, and that V uses a cane. That's our, that's the current running theory. So it was talking about how uh, the tree drains blood from from people. I'm guessing that's what he's referring to there. King? You? I don't know. I mean, you're a big guy and all, but you seem more like a knuckle-scrapping fart in the wind than anything else. Yeah, no offense. Oh, so I just, I just want to point out how good the animations are here. When Nero's asked, oh, do you know who I am? He's... Yeah, have a look at his... Yeah, just the, the, the shrug and the, the head shake. It's, it's pretty good animation, anyway. Not sure if I like the name Goliath boss that sounds more like a Marvel thing. Nothing wrong with Marvel, but it just doesn't sound like other Devil May Cry boss names. I really like the name appearing to, in to introduce each boss, very cool. And all also the normal enemies as well. I like that the D rank is called Dismal this time, <laughs> that's pretty funny. Also, now uh, Banter continues on into the boss fight, which is very cool. I'm, I'm so on board with that. Previously, the Banter was kind of, it was 
separated off into cutscenes, and then during the boss fight you could do a taunt if you wanted, but it was kind of sectioned off for the most part, but now they, they kind of keep chatting and it's really cool. Once again, uh, they mentioned earlier that even if you don't have any arms left, you can still do the Snatch ability, which is very cool. And yeah, I'm not going to show this whole boss fight. Again, you can go watch the whole 15 minute thing if you're really interested. It's a pretty cool boss fight. It goes through multiple arenas that the floor breaks like in the trailer. Yeah, that's pretty cool. The in-game chatter is really cool. Actually, my boyfriend said that he hopes that there's a boss that if they hit you, they make fun of you. And uh, I said, that would be Dante. <laughs> if, there's a, if there's another Dante boss fight, then that's definitely going to happen. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And so they don't, actually, they don't do the buster in this because uh, uh, the, the buster is not actually in the playable build, the playable demo of this game at Gamescom. That was only in like a Microsoft internal build that they were showing off. So they don't, they don't do the buster in this uh, video. It seems like this is when you would do the buster though, when it's kind of tired out like this. Anyway, let's jump to the end and finish off this video because this is damn long. <laughs> Got a little, little bit of dialogue here. And that's where the demo ends. So I will rule the underworld and not him. He keeps mentioning stuff, something about fruit. I'm guessing that's what the demon tree is for. It's like draining people of their blood to make fruit, which I guess will make you really strong if you eat it. But, what does that remind me of? That Dragon Ball Z movie? <laughs> uh, yeah. And yeah, he's referring to someone else who's trying to rule the underworld. So, you know, that speculation go wild. We can guess that's going to be Virgil. Oh, they were using auto assist. And that, the cute little thing at the end, Devil May Cry is back. That's good. And so that's the end of that. And uh, that's all the footage we've got for now. So yeah, they announced that uh, Dante is going to be at Gamescom. Oh, not Gamescom, Tokyo Game Show, which is 20th of September. So a little under a month away. That's pretty exciting. We'll get to see at least a Dante trailer, maybe some more gameplay. I'm going to try and keep my expectations low, but because they keep getting kind of blown out of the water, and I don't want to get, uh, don't want to get hyped up too much. It's kind of impossible <laughs> not to though. Turn the wrong window here. There you go. Yeah, Dante coming soon. Uh, yeah, so that's pretty much everything. The last thing I want to mention is um, yes, I know that there was some leaked gameplay of the prologue. Uh, I did watch it. I'm not going to show it here because that would be a very dumb idea. <laughs> I'd get taken off of YouTube. Uh, and I also wouldn't want to show it anyway because that's kind of rude to the developers. So it might not have been ready to show to public. So, And the person who showed it, I'm pretty worried for their job, unfortunately. But uh, there, yeah, So I won't really talk about that. There wasn't anything huge there, but there were some little details. So in case any of you are wondering, yes, I did see that. It wasn't anything huge like V gameplay, but uh, I won't really talk about much about that. I think that's everything actually. Let me just check my little list. Uh, yep, that's everything. So I'll try and include links to all of this in the description. So you can all go and watch it all for yourselves. Kind of pick it apart like I have, like a crazy person. <laughs> and thank you all for watching. I'll see you all later. See ya.